Hello students, in chapter 3, physical layer, our next topic is about the data and signals. Many, in this topic, we will discuss about the data. Data may be of uh, any type, it may be of digital type or analog type. Then we will discuss about the signals, how we represent the data in the form of signals. Signals are analog signals and the digital signals. Let's go for the topic. Data. Data refers to information that conveys some meaning. When you are uh, uh, doing WhatsApp to your friend like, uh, or sharing any PDF with your friend or sharing any video with your friend, then you are sharing the data and that data has some meaning. You are uh, sharing a PDF with your friend of your notes. That means you are sharing a meaningful information with your friends and that data may be comes in variety of forms text text graphics audio video or animation that may be in many variety of forms next data can be of analog or digital types analog or digital types means when we are representing data in the time series in the time series how our data is generated with the time that's why we are divided data in two forms analog type of data or the digital type of data First, we are going to discuss about the analog data. Analog data refers to the information that takes on continuous value on some intervals. Continuous value on some intervals means when you are creating data, that data is making the continuous values. That data is making the continuous values. Example of that analog data we will discuss here is your and uh, voice or videos. The data are collected from the real world with the help of some type of uh, data collection device like a transducers transducer or with the help of video camera you are making a video or with the help of a recorder you are recording your voice or you can say um, a, uh, analog data means a sound such as human voice takes on continuous values when we are representing this data in the form of uh, time and uh, uh, amplitude or time or represent in type of any type of representation any type of representation then we will see our voice have a continuous forms of data okay when someone speaks an analog wave is created in the air when someone speaks an analog wave is created in the air and this can be captured by our microphone or recorder and that Wave is converted to an analog signals or when you want to come convert this one into digital signals you can convert this one with the help of some modulation type of techniques next is the digital data second one here is the digital data digital data refers to the information that has some discrete values discrete values means you can represent this data in the form of simple values like zero 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 means you have some defined values or you can say discrete value. You can uniquely identify this is the value of this particular data item. Okay, then we are saying this is the digital data. When you are representing uh, your bits uh, in the form of zeros and ones, streams of zeros and ones, you can say this is a zero and this is ones means you can have some discrete value for the representation okay uh, example of this one is text or the character strings text or the character strings for example uh, data are stored in computer memory are in the form of zeros and ones they can be converted into digital signals or modulated into the analog signals or and we can transmit that in the form of uh, signals in the in, through the transmission media to another device so these are the analog and digital data. Now, when we comes to signals, then how to represent these particular things and in the same way in the signals. Now, signal, what is signal? First of all, when we talk about, then what is a signal? Signal is generally an electrical, electromagnetic or some type of electrical, electromagnetic or optical representation of data which can be sent over a communication medium which can be sent over a communication mediums as we see this is our sender computer and this is our receiver computer 
and these two computers are connected through a, some type of transmission medium transmission medium so we can share our data through this transmission mediums we can share our data through transmission mediums means mainly this signal signal is the representation of our data signal is the representation of our data because transmission media are not carry the bits they are carrying the signals so we need a type of representation of data that can uh, transfer from or transmit it from one place to another place and that form is the signal and that form is the signal and that signals may be in any form that may be in the electrical form or in maybe in the optical forms mainly we can say that signals are the mathematical representations or mathematical terms mathematical terms so that we can present it in the form of signals signals can be either of two types analog signals or the digital signals analog signals or the digital signals analog signals can have infinite number of values in a range as we already discussed analog data refers to the information that takes on continuous values on some intervals same as these this particular analog signal also have infinite number of values in a range when, when we are speaking, speaking our amplitude or our frequency is sometimes it's a very low or sometimes it's go very high when speak loudly so we have continuous values infinite number of intensities levels in infinite number of intensity levels in our signal finite in intensity levels okay in a range we can define a range from low low frequency recorded up to a high frequency recorded by us according to that we define some values second is a digital signal digital signals means uh, as already defined digital data means we have discrete values of the data same as these here we have a limited number of discrete values limited number of discrete values if we uh, have zero and once and we want to represent this one in the form of signals we can easily represent this is the zeros data zero and this is once means here we represent this digital data in the form of signals when we are uh, using when we want to use zero then we will take this one when we want to represent one in the form of signal this is one when we want to represent again zero and when we want to represent again one so if this one makes a signal this one makes a signals our data digital data is represented in the form of signals and here we have the limited range of values because in digital data we have discrete values 0 1 2 g form we have level uh, some uniquely identification of the values both here an important note is both analog signal as well as digital signals can be periodic as well as non periodic can be periodic as well as non periodic periodic means non periodic means periodic means your signal will represent it same or repeat itself after some period of time after some period of time here, here we, we can, can say that, that periodic, periodic signals periodic signals means after some period the signal represent itself means here this one represented a wave this is a complete wave this one is same repeated again this one is repeated again means this is a period this is the period and this same is represented in same wave is represented in the next period that's why we are saying periodic signals after some interval of time the signal will take the same representation okay non periodic signal means the same thing is not repeated after some periodic time means here uh, your wave is representing in this way here your wave is represented in this way this way but in the next period the wave is representing in this way in the next period again the wave is represented uh, say like this way so that means after some period of time the same values may be repeated or may be not repeated that means we are saying our signal is a non periodic signals in digital data 
in digital data or digital signals mainly we have digital signals digital data and in the digital signals mainly we are using non periodic signals we are using non periodic signals for digital form and for analog signals we are using the periodic signals we are using the periodic signals this uh, one is not the part of uh, gauge labels but you have some knowledge about these things so these are uh, so many questions are asked in the net exam from this topic uh, even you are using analog data or analog signals we are you are using periodic or non periodic and you are using digital we are using non periodic form when we are using analog we are using periodic form so this is all about the data and the signals in the next topics we will discuss them in a briefly manner how we represent analog signals what are the characteristics of the analog signals or what are the how we represent a digital data in the digital signals and what are the characteristics of that okay